Hello, Colas, and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest update. We start with Neymar, as it has been reported that Barcelona are not in the race for the PSG Mega Superstar due to economic reasons. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Rafinha, it has been reported that Leeds United did not even bother looking at Barcelona's offer for Rafinha. We are going to be discussing on that report that I've just revealed that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and also make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. After dealing with the Kylian Mbappe contract saga, another major transfer story seems to be brewing at Paris Saint-Germain. The French giants are reportedly considering the sale of one of their biggest superstars in the form of Neymar. The 30-year-old moved to pack the princess from Barcelona in the summer of 2017 in a world record deal worth 222 million euros. However, his time at PSG has not been the unbridled success that many expected to be. Injuries and controversies have been a major future of the Brazilian megastar's tenure at the French capital, while he has been unable to lead them to Champions League glory. PSG president Nasser El Khalafi recently hinted that PSG could consider offloading Neymar this summer, and as things stand, a sale could be on the cards. Naturally, the 30-year-old has been linked with the return to Barcelona, with reports claiming that Barca have been offered a chance to sign him for 50 million euros. However, as per a fresh update from journalist Marcelo Bechler, Barcelona are out of the running to sign Neymar Jr. due to the club's financial situation. The reporter mentions that Neymar is not considered untouchable at PSG and that the league and giants will consider any good offer that come in for the ex-Santos wonderkid. However, given his contract runs until 2025, they will expect a sizable fee, which will be a problem for Barca. On top of that, Barcelona would be unable to afford his massive wages either at a time when they are struggling to trim down their bloated wage bill. So, for economic reasons, Barcelona are very unlikely to be in the race to sign Neymar should he be put on the market. The journalist Marcelo Bechler also adds that if PSG do find the buyer for Neymar Jr., they will go after Barca contract rebel Usman Dembele to replace him this summer. A lot of talks about Neymar potentially coming to Barca, and this is not the first time we have been getting this. You know, some seasons back, we have been talking about a potential re um, return to Neymar, but that has never worked out, despite Barca themselves willing uh, open for that. But right now, as it stands, definitely we all know that our situation economically is not the best. And this report is claiming that Barca would have gone for Neymar, but because of the economic reasons, that operation is impossible. Some few weeks back, we got this shocking report, but it was not true that Barcelona have been offered a chance to sign Neymar for just 50 million. But we all know that Paris Saint Germain can never let Neymar go for just 50 million. It's not like they were selling for the 200 and something million, but something more than that. That is what is expected. So Neymar is not considered as, you know, the untouchables again in Paris Saint-Germain. And his future is still uncertain as it stands. Being a former Barcelona player and being linked with Barca, you know, some, a couple of seasons ago, Barca still continue to be in the race. But as it stands right now, Barcelona have no intention to make a move given the fact that they don't even have the money in the first place and even if they had the money and bring him the wage will be a problem given the fact that Barca are struggling to trim down their wage bill so there is no possibility whatsoever for Neymar you know talking about the right wing position which you know Barca have been struggling to have one given that um, Usman Dembele's contract is up in the air tomorrow is the 30th of June Officially, Dembele's contract is supposed to expire tomorrow, which means the day after tomorrow, Dembele will not be a Barca player anymore. So, given the fact that Barca have lost Rafinha to Chelsea, one might think that which winger right out there that Barca wants to go for? Because Di Maria is heading to Juventus, who have just lost everything. 
and if Neymar was like honestly if Neymar was cheaper and if Neymar's wages or if Neymar could have taken a pay cut to be realistic Neymar returning to Barca would be very welcome honestly speaking and but the, unfortunately that is impossible that is impossible even if Dembele leave Barca can't consider that so let's see what Barca decides when it comes to bringing in a new winger to the club because definitely we know Xavi wants a new winger um disappointingly we have lost out on Rafinha as Chelsea are ready to pay that amount in full demanded by Leeds United so what will be the outcome of all this what will be the outcome it is interesting to see what Barca decides because definitely our transfer window has not gone as planned even though in Spain it's from the 1st of July that the transfer activity actually takes place but that notwithstanding, Barca had to be going strongly to that target and getting negotiations very smooth. But we have not seen that so far. Then on to the next story of discussion. After having worked on the deal to sign Rafinha from Leeds United for, for months together, Barcelona seemed poised to miss out on the Brazilian signing with Chelsea, coming in with a late swoop for the winger. Reports indicate that Chelsea have reached a full agreement with Leeds over a transfer in a deal worth 75 million euros. Barcelona had identified Rafinha as their top target to replace Usman Dembele, who is set to depart as a free agent, with his contract expiring in a day. Personal terms between Rafinha and Barcelona have been agreed upon back in March itself, with the player's agent Deco playing a key role in those negotiations. However, Barca's inability to meet Leeds' valuation for the 25-year-old winger left the door open for other clubs to swoop. Arsenal made a big a bid and saw it get rejected. White Tottenham Hotspur had also been in talks with the White over a transfer, but it is Chelsea who have now emerged as the front runners. Leeds are said to be happy with the offer from the Blues and have agreed on a fee, so much so that, as reported by TV3, the Premier League club did not even bother to look you know, at a proposal Barcelona set for Rafinha after reports of Chelsea's hijacking of the deal began to pick up pace. Fabrizio Romano also collaborates that claim, um, stating that Barcelona tried calling Leeds United with a proposal, but they have no chance of matching the offer tabled by Chelsea. The Italian journalist also claims that the Blues are now set to start talks with Deco over personal terms, with Barcelona and Arsenal still in the picture, the deal is not done until Chelsea come to an agreement over a contract with a player. The 25-year-old has been a huge hit at Leeds United since his arrival from Elan Road at Elan Road in 2020. Um, he did play the key role. In each of these two seasons, he played there at the club to help the Whites retain Premier League status. Xavi and the Barcelona technical staff have been keen on landing Rafinha to replace exit-bound Usman Dembele for a long time now. And even though a contract agreement was in place, it seems like the Brazilian is slipping out of the of Barca's hands as things stand. So after Chelsea made that offer, which Leeds United accepted, Barca, very funny enough, still went ahead to make an offer despite guessing the reports. And guess what? They made an offer even lower than Chelsea's own. What we are getting is Barca, you know, made an effort for just 35 million euros. Of course, that's the amount that Barca have been, you know, pressing hard to pay for Rafinha. But this report is claiming that Leeds even had no time to even look at that offer. They had no time to even go through because they were looking at a bigger and better. And um, like they were looking at offers that make sense and Chelsea's own didn't make sense. So I think as things are going the way it is, Barca have lost Rafinha. And being as a fan of Barcelona, I feel so disappointed, so disappointed because I really wanted Usman Dembele to leave Barcelona so that we can bring Rafinha, but that does not seem to be the case. So, and looking at Dembele's own situation, we don't even know what is happening right now. It's just everywhere is confusion. We don't know where, what will happen tomorrow. We don't know what will happen the day after tomorrow when it comes to Dembele's future, when it comes to the player that Barca wants to bring to play the wing. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. Until next time, bye-bye.